Welcome to Impact Moment right here on DCTV. I'm Alvin Jones and once again we get a chance to uh, bring to you an organization and people that are doing great things, especially in this city and they're making things blossom. As a matter of fact, their name is called City Blossoms and I have the board chair, Raphael Waldub, on the line with me. Raphael, how you doing? I'm doing well. I appreciate the opportunity. I'm excited to have this conversation. Hey, man, it is good to have you here because one of the things that I really like is you're about the city and you're about the youth. You are showing them literally how to blossom. Let's talk about that. Absolutely. Yeah. So, you know, City Blossoms was started in 2008 by two uh, incredible women who are, you know, Washingtonians born and raised in D.C., and, uh, you know, the excellent thing about DC, or sorry, the excellent thing about City Blossoms is, you know, the organization is committed to um, solving, you know, an issue that really plagues the city. And that issue is inequitable access to green spaces, but also specifically not just, you know, popping up green spaces and, and, and garden spaces here and there around the city, but more specifically, uh, making sure that that those green spaces are um, speaking to the communities that are living in those in in, in those in those neighborhoods in those communities um, so that you know it's not just a green space but it's a green space that speaks to you what makes city blossom different from the other organizations that do things along the same line it's an excellent question you know i think first and foremost there are incredible organizations in dc that you know, are trying to solve um, this 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 issue of of inequitable access to green space and also all of the benefits that uh, that in that inequitable access to green space are um, lacking for folks, right? Um, but City Blossoms in particular is you know is trying to to solve this issue of that lack of access to green space, and I think what makes the organization specifically unique in this particular field is that um, it's community informed and community driven and City Blossoms truly is the community. So um, you know, everything from you know, our, our interns and our fellows and our staff members and our board members alike, um, but also the, you know, the, the folks who are directly being impacted um, and, and, and participating and collaborating in our programming, you know, these are all folks who are benefiting from that access to green space. And I think that's what makes us uh, particularly unique in this field. Wow. Now, from what I understand, you started off as an intern, became a board member, and now you're the board chair, which means you've seen the growth and you've grown along with City Blossoms. Give us some information, some statistics about some of the things that City Blossom has done and some of the information that City Blossoms has found out. You know, we've We've um, we've served over 100 programs and um, garden spaces, uh, you know, in in our founding. So we've worked with over 100 different um, programs and gardens, which has been incredible. And in the year 2019 alone, pre-pandemic, uh, we've 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 worked with over 10,000 um, students. So over 10,000 folks have had the opportunity to. Um, or actually, I guess we've had the opportunity to 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 really um, impact uh, you know about ten thousand or over ten thousand um, students um, through all of our programs and gardens um, across the city and also um, in, through our partnerships with with various programs um, around the United States. So that's been incredible growth that we've seen, um, and it's been trusted growth. So um, you know, I think I, I'm very proud to be a part of a, a part of that movement. Absolutely. You know, as I'm listening to your statistics and you're telling me stuff, there's a question that comes into my mind. You want to know what it is? What is it? What impact does a garden have on students when they see it at their school? It's an excellent question. <laughs> I'll speak on, you know, I could give you sort of you know, so many different stories, but I'll speak on, on something that I witnessed myself with my own eyes. Um, during my internship at City Blossoms, uh, one of the one of the garden sites that uh, I was sort of assigned to and responsible for 
this Eastern high school um, in Northeast DC, right near sort of the stadium armory. Uh, oh yeah, I'm familiar with Eastern High School and their choir, yes. <laughs> yeah, and the band, right? <laughs> yes, in the band, yes. Yeah, the, that band is, is, is popping, absolutely. Um, I had the privilege of, um, of participating in one of our programs called um, the Youth Entrepreneurship Cooperative which is specifically working with high school students in DC. And we have a program um, specifically at Eastern High School that's a part of that program. And, uh, you know, I, I remember some of my first couple of days just meeting, you know, some of, the, some of the students that were part of the program. So what I witnessed was, um, you know, there's, there's one student in particular, I, I'm, I'm blanking on her name, uh, but she, you know, her, <laughs> I remember seeing her, her image Along the brick wall that sort of bordered the the the, the school garden um, in, at the at the back of the school, and, and thinking, oh, that's a beautiful smile, right? And then I actually saw her walk in the door, and and sort of made that connection there, and, and had the opportunity to speak with her and connect with her, and just hear a little bit about what she benefited from, um, you know, at the program, and and I think that that that's what makes City Blossom such an incredible organization, because you know these gardens are specifically responding to and informed by the communities that they're connected to, right? So City Blossoms didn't come in and, you know, build a cookie cutter garden for uh, uh, Eastern High School students, right? Eastern High School students built that garden themselves. They planted what they wanted to plant in that garden themselves, right? With, with the support of, of City Blossoms um, programming and, and best practices, of course, um, but you know it's it's student driven, right? So I think that that's what makes that's what makes our, our our programming you know fantastic and what what leaves a strong impression on me and why I want to be a part of the organization you know indefinitely. So, well, uh, tell us how you really felt. No, seriously, I can tell by your response to that question, there's a little bit of envy. Like, we didn't have this when I was in high school. <laughs> it's kind of like, do you youth understand what I would have given to be in your shoes? And so it sounds like now that the youth are having um, gardens in their, in their school, this is something that you probably would have imagined and hoped for when you were younger and now you're seeing with the lack, pardon me for the pun, but you're seeing the, the seeds come into fruition. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think, you know, City Blossoms, we have programming that starts at age two, your early growers program all the way through you know, elementary school, middle school, high school. I mean, then we're building connections beyond high school and encouraging uh, you know, our, our, our high school students to take on internships either with us or with our community partners who we trust, right? Um, I think now we're really starting to see the, 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 the fruits of the, the hard work and dedication that City Blossoms has committed to Washington, DC. Um, because you know we're in our what is it our 14th year now um so you know the, the folks who sort of started at that very young age are really starting to come into their own and, and, and becoming leaders within the organization um so you know sky's the limit for, for for what city blossoms has moving forward i'm really excited to see how it grows wow what your name says it all you're right here in the city and you're you're helping youth grow uh, gardens, but you're also helping them blossom. And so keep up the great work. Also, I love the fact that City Blossom, you guys develop your own. The interns become critical members of the organizations and even, hey, board chairs at some point. So, uh, Raphael Waldrop, thank you so very much for coming on and telling us about City Blossoms. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the time. I appreciate the conversation. Thank you, DCTV, for having City Blossoms. We appreciate you. Oh, definitely our pleasure. So for Impact Moment, I'm Alvin Jones. And once again, we get to bring you great people and great information from great organizations right here on DCTV. <laughs>